So, um, hi. We don't do this either, okay? Sunshine, I don't know her. Well, I did another instance of filming the video. See, I had to put this together because I didn't know that you had to put these together. I thought, I didn't know what I thought, but I didn't think I had to put it together. So what was the video over? The video was over the epilogue of Dramageddon 3. You know, the aftermath of the shenanigans with Beauty YouTube, where Jeffree Star was jealous of James Charles' career. He used Tati as a, like a pawn, and he was besties with Shane Dawson for a while. And then after that, Shane Dawson got heat for being a creep. They all got heat for being racist. And then Tachi got heat for being messy and being a dumb bitch, believing people that everyone told her was like racist and messy. Shane Dawson was effectively canceled. This Tati Westbrook decided to move because she's not with the YouTube shenanigans and she like with all the other person stuff that was going and she felt like her safety was in jeopardy and stuff like that. So she just like we ghost. Okay, she's in witness protection for all we know. So those two haven't really been doing much ever since that plot line ended. Um, but Scuttlefish's story arc is still going on and it's been eventful to say the least. He was caught up for being racist, obviously. That was where we left off. And then all of a sudden he has a black boyfriend. And we're just like... It was all in good timing because he was getting dragged for being racist. A former friend said that he was being used as a token black guy for marketing purposes. And there was a picture. There was a picture of this king with his feet on Jeffree Star's back. And it was great. We were all living for it. We didn't know what was happening. We don't know how he allowed this picture to be taken. We, he must really be trying to run home the fact that he loves black men and he is not racist. So yeah, so like that happened. And then it turns out like apparently, like a week later, the black guy stole from him allegedly. And everybody's just like, reparations. So it's, it's funny. I mean, it's, it's funny, I don't care. Nobody cares, because it's Jeffree Star, so we don't really care. But then it comes out that his boyfriend had like a baby mama and a bunch of kids. And then people were just like, well, maybe he's just trying to distract from the fact that he has sexual assault allegations put against him. And of course he releases makeup, of course he does. I mean, everybody said, knew that this was gonna happen. Why? Because everyone's talking about him. And again, it was for being racist. You can recover from being racist, but you cannot recover from being a predator and to almost attempt to take accountability. It doesn't mean that that was gonna actually hurt his business. At least the ones that he's, at least the business that he's promoting himself. You know, like, yeah, he had to act like he got fired from Morphe and they had to publicly de de denounce him. But if Jeffree Star himself sells his products through whatever company he uses, he's still gonna be fine. And that was proven. He sold his makeup palettes and again, they were um, contaminated. He was waiting for that, like, that fresh period of frustrations from the public to pass. Because when something happens, there's the initial period of being really, really angry at it and then dragging it for a bit and then eventually everyone forgets. You know, like m most people probably weren't even aware of the foolishness involving the makeup community in like the last year. Even people were mad at Doja Cat for a bunch of stuff, but like nobody cares now. Like literally nobody cares. Everyone that was on the TL dragging her, bopping her songs right now. Election. Like how the thing, all the things with Hillary's email came out during the election, like during the time of the uh, campaign, like for the last stretches, and like that's all people talked about, so they couldn't do anything important. It filled the time bubble. It filled the it filled the time gap, so that they got to the point to where that stuff technically wasn't as important anymore, and they could just move on, and or with their goal or whatever. It was like it's a distraction. So like with Scuttlefish, all this stuff about the black guy robbing him, which sounds very. It's like he took a black guy right out of a Tyler Perry film. I just want to say that. Like, there's no, he's in, he's not beating his wife. Up here. It's not his girlfriend. His girlfriend looks fine, so that's not happening. But I'm just saying, it's like, you found a random, really tall black guy that stole your money, has a baby mama and a bunch of kids. Yeah, so that's what's happened. That's what's happened since drama getting through, okay? Uh, Shane is canceled. Tati is AWOL. Jeffree Star is being him 
himself, just not care. No fucks are getting at all. Oh, and James Charles is apparently getting dragged for stealing ideas for like every other month or something. I don't know. Apparently, that's just like his thing now. You know, really what's happening is that he's going to be the new Supreme. He's going to be the new problematic Supreme, okay? Because, you know, everyone is going to be a little bit less problematic than the previous generation, right? So you have Scuttlefish, okay? He will fall soon, eventually. Maybe. I don't know. People keep buying it. That's what's happened since Drama Get In 3. And then, like, the next one, we're going to talk about this. Talk about this book. What am I doing? I'm going to talk about this book. And yeah, it's interesting. It's, it's, I have a lot to say. I have a lot of fears. Because I know this is not based on any real people. The likenesses are just a coinky dink. However, you can theorize on who is who. And it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a mess. Can't wait. Turn up. I don't know what this was. But I hope you enjoyed seeing me during the daytime. And please like and subscribe.